Okay, so the biggest thing is E, which is more than one of the above, and the second biggest is C. Can I assume those of you who answered E also included C? Because that'll make this easier to... Okay. Um, C, larger initial delta T for blue. Okay, yes. <laughs> blue, for blue, it started at about 4.5. For black, it started at about 2.5. So blue had a larger initial delta T. Assuming T room is the same for both of them, that means blue started out at a higher temperature. Um, those of you who answered E answered something else. So can I ask whether it's A or B? For those of you who answered E, how many said, how many thought A? And how many thought B? I'm just curious. Roughly equal numbers. Uh, so, so if it's roughly equal numbers, I'm going to suggest that it may not be obvious that, uh, <laughs> that the two are different at all. So let's, let's think about this. The heat, larger heat capacity, let's suppose there's a larger thermal resistance. If there's a larger thermal resistance, what's going to happen, what does this curve look like? Let's say Blue has a larger thermal resistance. What does that tell you about the time dependence? Maybe I'll ask it this way. What does that tell you about the half-life? It would be bigger. There's a larger thermal resistance. The slow, the, all of the currents are going to be smaller because of more resistance. So if all the currents are smaller, all the heat flows are smaller, it'll take longer for it to get to room temperature. So this thing will be spread out. The, the half-life will be larger. What is the half-life of blue? Well, here's 4.5. The half-life, it's eventually going down to zero. So the half-life is when it gets halfway. That would be about 2.25, somewhere around here. And you find out that that's in between 0.4 and 0.5. It's close to 0.4 seconds. What's the half-life for the black one? Well, it starts out at 2.5, and so half of that would be 1.25. And if I look at 1.25, I find out that it's got approximately the same half-life. In other words, it's not obviously different. And if those of you who thought it was obviously longer had talked to those of you who thought it was obviously smaller, you might have gotten to the realization that it was not obviously different at all. And in fact, C is what I was looking for. The way you would decide about A and B is you would look for a half-life. That's a quick way to find out. Is it dropping down to half the value in about the same amount of time? If it is, then it's got approximately the same heat capacity times thermal resistance you never know for sure which is larger just from this number, but it, it, doesn't, it wouldn't be obvious that either was different. So how about the red and the blue? How do they differ? 